Hi, uh, this is uh, Ruba Maali, an English teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a summary of a poem. Now, summaries in general share the same uh, idea of, of summarizing, of the way of, of summarizing. Okay, so in our case today, we're going to focus more on poems. So, there are some uh, steps to follow when we're talking about summarizing poems or any piece of writing in general. So, the first step, if you look at how to summarize, you have one, two, three, four, and five steps. So, the first thing um, to do is to read the poem, of course. And also to read it again, because this is very important, so that you can look at the details and, and the main points that you want to include. Now, in the third point, after reading carefully, uh, we'll start to write sentences. And those sentences should contain main ideas. Sometimes you can include details, but those details should be main, should be major for the, for the events in the poem. Remember that summarizing means main ideas only. So if we're going to include all the um, uh, all the, the single details, all the small details in our piece of writing, then uh, we're far away, we're getting far away from summarizing idea. And also after having and writing the, the main ideas, the main ideas should be in our own words. So please use your own words. Try to describe, try to describe uh, the events of the poem in your own words. Okay? How did you understand them? Um, um, uh, in your own words. Okay? Paraphrase them. Retell the events. Okay. Sometimes you you might want to use some um, uh, words used literally in the poem, and that's fine. It, it will be okay to use sometimes the exact words from the poem. That, that's totally fine. But most of the piece of writing should be in your own words, and it should look like you, do, you are describing it, not the, the poet, not, not the author or the writer of the poem. Also, you need to follow the same order of the events. You can't write about, uh, a, uh, about um, um, a reading text, okay? Uh, skipping some events, uh, putting some events before or after, you see. So they have to be in as uh, in the same order they happened. And okay, now let's move into uh, step number four, which is um, uh, including our opinions in, in in summaries. Usually, summaries are having actually facts, facts about uh, what exactly happened in our piece uh, of reading. So here, you, you as, as a person who is summarizing, don't include your opinion or your opinion. And also it should be short, otherwise it wouldn't look like a summary. A summary is shorter than the original um, text, so it should be short. This is something um, uh, obviously um, to, to happen. In the last step of your paragraph, uh, uh, all I need from you is to, is to uh, summarize all the poem in one paragraph. I want you to revise it. You want to revise. Uh, did I include all the main ideas of the poem? Uh, did I exclude or um, miss out uh, any of the events that happened inside the poem? Okay, I'm not talking about the very, very specific details. I'm talking about the major detail details. Uh, and then you need to edit, okay? You need to edit your mistakes. Do I have grammar mistakes? Do I have spelling mistakes? Um, um, are my uh, ideas related? Uh, I mean coherent or they were connected clearly with a clear linking words, okay? So you need to check all that. And my advice to you is to check, recheck, and edit, proofread your piece of writing and uh, uh, feel like you are now the reader of this piece of writing. Will, would you feel satisfied 
for reading this this piece of writing? Okay, ask yourself this. Am I satisfied as a reader to read this? Do I do I have a problem in connecting the, the ideas? Now, if you have a problem doing this, if you have a problem uh, to finish um, uh, this assignment, of course, you can connect to me and we can talk about it. You can... Everything online, of course. I'm available anytime you want. So this is your assignment, okay, for today. is to write about the poem, The Lotus Seed. And remember that The Lotus Seed talks about a grandmother who comes from Vietnam. From Vietnam um, and she moved into the United States because of the war, she and her family. Now, uh, after that, some problems happened and some characters are involved with the grandmother. I'm talking about the grandson and the granddaughter, okay? The granddaughter is, is the speaker of the poem. She's the, she's the one who, uh, who wrote the poem. So, she's the author. And then, and then, we talked about inside the poem. We said that, there was a problem that happened with the, with the grandmother when the when the seed was lost and was taken by the grandson okay and how later on later on in the end the problem was solved of the grandmother the problem was solved and uh, she found out that the seed uh, of the lotus uh, bloom is blooming and um, it gave her hope and we talked about all that I want you to include all those details. It's like the way I am saying it right now. I'm trying to summarize it to you. I'm trying to um, uh, to move into uh, uh, the major details of the uh, poem. This is exactly what I want you to do. Um, remember, you need to write it as a paragraph, not as a list of points, as a connected paragraph, you see? Thank you very much for your uh, listening.